Are you ready to boost your team spirit? Look no further than shopteamwear.com, your one-stop destination for all your school and team apparel needs. We've got you covered whether you're a diehard fan searching for the latest gear or aiming to fundraise for your team. And here's the best part, you're in control. Choose the products and prices that work for you. Discover the ultimate apparel shopping and fundraising experience at shopteamwear.com. It's time to gear up, fundraise with ease, and make a statement together. Boost your team spirit, empower your community, shopteamwear.com, where passion meets fashion. Our focus has always been on you at Clarion County Community Bank. So let's talk about your needs of today and your plans for tomorrow. Let's talk if you're looking to update your home, expand your business, finance equipment, or establish a line of credit. Let's talk about making your dreams a reality at any one of our four locations in Clarion, New Bethlehem, Rymersburg, and Franklin. Clarion County Community Bank, there is a difference. are bringing college to rural Pennsylvania. We're helping people that didn't have a college option before. And the way we do that is through dedicated faculty and student services team and through technology so that people that didn't have that option before now have that option. Zockrell Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zockrell Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockrell Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockrellMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockrell Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion. And good evening and welcome to uh, Clarion Area High School. Mike Kalinowski along here with Dave Cadis. Get set to rock and roll tonight here. A big contest here on Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. It is Red Bank Valley here at Clarion Area, the two of the top teams in the Keystone Area Shortway Conference. And they're getting set to do battle here tonight at Clarion Area High School. This is one of those games, they always do one that counts in the standings as far as the league and one that just counts overall. This is one for overall coming up on February 9th down at Red Bank Valley will be a big one as that one will count in the league. And right now, Clarion and Red Bank are at the top. And if they would stop right now, Mr. Cadis, it would be Clarion, Red Bank Valley, Union, and Carn City in the uh, KSAC Championship. So that's where we would stand. It's just like the NFL, Mike, a lot of parity all the way across the board, especially up top and everything. But uh, this is one we've had marked the, for a long time on our calendar to see how both of these teams are basically going to match up. We've had the opportunity to see Clarion play a few weeks ago against Carn City and getting to know their players a little bit. Uh, quite impressive victory over Carn City two Fridays ago during that slushy, snowy weather. 
that evening. And uh, this is our first opportunity to see Red Bank Valley. We've seen uh, like 75 football games with them this year. And now we get an opportunity to basically see some of these, fo these football players that completed their season, a magical season. We get a chance to see them here at Clarion High School in a different sport. So uh, a lot of buzz. Talked to some people in town that are planning on coming to the game tonight. And uh, a lot of buzz over this game and uh, looking forward to it. All right, we're in the Carly Tire pregame show here on the EYT Media Network. And tonight we also have Owen Kreps going to be joining us intermittently as we go through the evening. And if it gets really loud, we got the pep man right behind us. So it might get a little bit crazy as we go through this evening. So I just want to remind you of that. So... Again, it is Red Bank Valley here at uh, Clarion Area. We're going to take a time out here at Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops, and we're going to come back out. We'll talk a little bit more about these teams, what they've been up to over the last week, and get you set up for the uh, keys to the game, starting lineups, and all that, too. Again, Red Bank here at Clarion Area. Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops are live on the EYT Media Network. Best of luck to all our area basketball teams from your one-stop car, truck, and SUV dealer, Clarion Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Visit us on Main Street in Clarion or start online at clarionauto.com. Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Are you a therapist who wants to make a difference? Do you want to help children and families who are struggling with serious behavioral problems? MHY Family Services is looking for therapists to join our new multi-systemic therapy psychiatric team. Multi-systemic therapy psychiatric is an evidence-based in-home intensive treatment approach that addresses the multiple factors that contribute to a child's behavioral problems. With this treatment, you could help children and families change their lives for the better. We are looking for passionate therapists to join our team. Apply now and become a part of the supportive and dynamic culture at MHY Family Services. Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. Back here at uh, Clemson Area High School, it is uh, Laurel Lock Clinic Hoops here on the EYT Media Network. We're in the Carly Tire pregame show. Glad you can be with us tonight. Cold outside, warm in here. Red Bank Valley here at Clarion Area. When these two get together, it's always going to be a battle. Uh, joined now by Owen Kreps up here with us. Dave Cadis, Mike Kalinowski. We've got uh, Tyler Oaks over there on the engineering side. And Brad English down on the camera tonight. Well, um, Bob, you had a chance, uh, or Bob, I knew I was going to say it 400 times. When you work with a guy for 36 years, that's what happens. Well, he's listening, too, <laughs> down in Port Charlotte, drinking a nice uh, a nice Miller Lite probably on the beach down there. So. Well, we're going to bring Owen in here, too. But, Dave, you had a chance, too, just over the last game for these two teams. We're looking at some of the players and some of the things to watch here, Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Um, how did both teams fare in their last outing? Well, last Thursday, the last time Red Bank saw the floor and everything, they beat uh, Union 64-46, pretty good dominant offensive performance for the Bulldogs. Uh, Braylon Wagner, 
a young man who we talked about an awful lot during football season, the quarterback for the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs. Poured in 17 points, another uh, football player for the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs on Klaus at 12, then followed by Kieran Fricko with 11, uh, 11 points on the, seat, on the evening and everything. Red Bank basically, they got them listed as 10 and one overall, and they are six and zero oh in the KSAC conference. So, uh, pretty good, pretty good game for both the Bulldogs uh, in their first in their first game in, in a long time since Thursday coming back on the court. Also, Clarion uh, over the weekend they defeated Keystone 59-47. Devin Lauer 16 points. We saw him play against Key, uh, against Carn City a few weeks ago. The man from the outside, he was on fire an awful lot, and he was on fire over at Keystone, too. So 16 points by Devin Lauer. Derek Smell added 12 points. And, you know, looking at Clarion's team, pretty well balanced, Mike, that we remember against Carn City. Simcoe and Cribble and Brinkley, uh, all pretty good scores, and that's going to be the key, I think, to tonight's game is uh, who's going to end up uh, being able to hit the three and transition play through the evening. Yeah, and again, we're in that was the Luton's Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning. Taking a look at the players and the, the games here from last week, and I know, and you've had a chance to see Clarion a few times, and uh, was this your first chance to see Red Bank? Because it's ours too. So. Yeah, it, it is my first time seeing Red Bank. I, I don't know much about them, uh, but I've seen Clarion three. This will be my third time seeing them, or maybe the fourth, but um, they're, they're a good team. They're a deep team. I really like how their roster is not just, oh, relying on one guy and – very impressive uh, just how they move the ball around and can rely on just about anyone off, coming off the bench. And I think you're going to be interested, or I think you'll be impressed too. Uh, Red Bank Valley is also one of those teams. This is a team that's incredibly athletic. Their football team, of course, went deep again, made it into the Western uh, final uh, for uh, the football season. Again, a couple years ago, they were in the state championship, and their basketball team kind of has fed off of that. Uh, they made some deep runs in the playoffs the last couple of years. Some different guys, but I think, again, you know, you talk about that speed that Clarion has, I think you're going to be equally impressed with Red Bank Valley. Absolutely. Um, I'm excited to see them uh, get to work. This is my first, I think this is my first Red Bank Valley game period I've covered okay. uh, out of any sport. So only thing I know about Red Bank Valley is my mom started her teaching career there way back when. There you go. Uh, so for those listening, it was Vanessa Doubt back then. Back in the Stone Ages. Back in the Stone Ages. Yeah, now, the only other thing that we have to have you do, because Bob Dunkel was a Red Bank Valley graduate, the one I broadcasted with for yeah, years. Right. And he was really good at the Bulldog. So if you can do that every oh. now and then, you have to be like, rah, rah, rah. I just I just came from Meadville and that's right, yeah, right, you got the, the Bulldogs, Bulldogs too. And yeah, yeah, they got every, the Bulldogs. Every volleyball match and is you hear that <laughs> plenty of times. So you're ready to go. See, we got a pro already. Why don't we take one more quick time out? We'll pause about two minutes. We're going to come back out here, talk about uh, some keys and also starting lineups. It's all on the way tonight. Red Bank Valley is here in Clarion area, and it's Laurel Lake Clinic Hoops right here on the EYT Media Network. Easy with that. Looking for a new Bobcat tractor? Northeastern Equipment Sales and Rentals has inventory on the lot, ready to be loaded up so you can get to work on tough jobs. Check out Bobcat of Clarion at 1214 East Main Street in Clarion. Brookville Equipment has always been well known in the community as a great local employer. Very family oriented company. Brookville has a really great benefits plan here. We're pretty diverse in what we do from mining to streetcars to locomotives. We're helping the infrastructure of the country. Medical insurance, dental, vision, competitive wages, paid time off. It's an opportunity. It's something that you can enjoy doing. And you can apply right through our website. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. Want to cut your cooling costs this summer? With a highly efficient air conditioning system, you can save up to 50% in energy costs while enjoying more consistent temperatures throughout your home. 
Call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and AC at 814-226-8695 to schedule a free evaluation of your system and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency this summer. Back here at uh, Clarion Area High School, it is Laurel Eichlin and Coops here on the EYT Media Network. Mike Kalinowski along with uh, Dave Cadis, Owen Kreps up here as well tonight. And uh, we're getting set. Teams are already to the sidelines. And real quick, two guys, anything you want to throw again? Gatesman's auto body keys to the game. Well, I think it's going to be, a like we talked a little bit off air, it's going to be a track meet in my mind. I think everybody's going to go up and down. I don't think you're going to see too much uh, – you know, too much underneath play. I think you're going to see the ball go up and down the court an awful lot, especially with the athletes like we talked about at Red Bank and also this clearing team we saw against Corn City. All right, we're going to have the anthem coming up here momentarily. We'll bring that to you. And we'll also have the starting lineups. Of course, the one thing at Clarion here we need to work on, that sound system. So we're going to – we always pick on it. At some point, it's going to be blaring in here. Yeah, we'll call it the Mike Kalinowski sound well, Maybe. System. It might be the band tonight. Here's the band. It is. So there we go. The band doing a nice job. The pep band tonight here at Clarion High School. Getting set now for the starting lineups brought to you by Jannie Montgomery Scott. We'll keep an eye down there, see if there's any changes to what we have. And first introduce will be uh, Braylon Wagner. Of course, he led this uh, football team offensively with his uh, job at quarterback, the sophomore. Followed by uh, Kieran Fricko. He had some points in that last ball game, didn't he, Mr. Cadis? Yes, he did. Karen Fricko put up 11 that last game against Union. Interested to see what he's all about tonight. Ty Carrier next introduced. Then we're going to see the Klauses. Owen and Mason Klaus being introduced. Owen Klaus between soccer, football, and now we don't know basketball if he sets some more records. He's been a district champion, scored 100 goals in soccer, and many great things in football as well. Great name there. So here we go as uh, they are introduced now. 
for Clarion area. They're going to go with a little different lineup here tonight. They're going to start with Derek Smale. They're going to go with a little more beef inside. And they'll be followed by uh, Gabe Simcoe. Gabe came up, talked to him earlier. Actually, Christian, his brother, was up here. Give me a chat later. Brinkley's going to get the start as well. Brinkley going to be followed here by Lauer. And finally, it'll be Dawson Smale. So they're going to go Lauer, Smale, Smale, Brinkley, and Simcoe tonight. So a little bit of a change. So, coaches going to get their final words in. The pep band's going to get its final tune in. Of course, the pep band right to our right here at Clarion High School. We're up on the perch here this evening. We're getting Owen an education here in the Keystone Shortway Conference. He's experiencing all this crazy stuff. Yeah, a, a couple of unique things I've never seen in District 10, which isn't that far away, but... It, Little different things here in D9. Sure is. Here we go up top, Brinkley with the basketball. He's going to work it here for the Bobcats. Man to man defense by Red Bank Valley. While we're up top, he'll find uh, Smale. Going to work that up top of the key. Lauer with the ball here, just underway. First quarter sponsor, too. Want to let you know it is uh, Kale's Kitchens. Mike, I'm kind of interested how quickly that Devin Lauer is going to be able to get off on his three-point tangent if he can get it going early. Um, that's good news for the Bobcats. Smale in the paint, driving strong to the hoop shots just off the mark. And the foul is going to be called here. I think they're going to get Dawson Smale with the reach. Rebound was pulled down by Fricko. Clarion's going to back off here. Sometimes we'll see them start with pressure. We're going to sit in a 2-3 zone to start. The Bobcats. Draco comes to the left side, hands that ball off. Plus, left side. Working it there was Carrier down to the baseline. Draco back up top, Carrier to the right side. Shot on the way, and it is off the mark. No good that time. That was Wagner with the shot. Here comes Clarion. It's funny because in pregame, I saw Wagner hit three threes in a row. And he looked like he was pretty on fire. Going to be pretty much on fire tonight. But uh, that ball hits off the iron and goes to Clary. Baseline Brinkley driving, puts it up strong. Klaus was there, but Klaus is going to get the foul. He had the initial uh, stop, and then he's going to get fouled with the putback. That's going to be Mason Klaus picking up his first at the line. Will be Brinkley here as he'll be shooting two. Pretty packed uh, student fan section tonight. Already yeah. starting the chance. I believe it's supposed to be a whiteout, but there's always those kids that don't get the memo. <laughs> Not blaming them. They're like, you're in the wrong shirt. Uh, I don't know. Bryce Brinkley hits the first one. There's that second one, two. Two out to score, two nothing, as we roll here in quarter number one. Left side. Back up top. Long shot taken on the right side, and how about that by Fricko? That'll be a three-pointer three to Red Bank Valley. They're going to have to extend that 2-3 zone a little bit to get out in front of that arc, Mike, a little bit. Bill drives, and it's blocked by Klaus, ripped away by Wagner. Already really physical game in front of this, this hoop there that uh, Red Bank's defending. Ball back up top. Here's Fricko. He's already nailed a three. Left side, there's Wagner. Wagner. Back to Frickell. They'll get the offense reset. Clarion still in a 2-3 zone here. Fricko fires the three again, and uh, that one's just off the mark. Rebound by Simcoe, and they're going to get Mason Klaus coming over. That's number two on him, and they're going to have to bring in a substitute already, and that's going to be Brecken Minnick. Klaus just a little bit too aggressive early in the game. Officials calling it a little bit tight underneath. And those are two big fouls, uh, Mike and Owen, without a doubt. Brinkley up top. He's got the carrier on him defensively. Owen Klaus picks up uh, Lauer, and now up top it's Dawson Smale. 
Brinkley. Back to Lauer it goes. 5.15 to go here in the first. A one-point lead for Red Bank. Simcoe from the free throw line. Dumps it in. Derek Smale fakes, puts nice it up. Patience. Basket good. Nice patience there for Smale. And how about a 4-3 lead here? Big guy inside. Brico directing some traffic here. Flaring extending that 2-3 zone a little bit further out by the arc. Ball up top, Fricko kicks it out to the right side, shot on the way. It is good on that right side. And how about the Carrier nailing the three-pointer? That was from uh, somewhere out in Shippenville. Yeah, Ty Carrier really letting it fly that time for three. Red Bank got the lead, 6-4 here early in the first period. Smell back up top, it goes Smell to Smell inside. Simcoe turns around, opens right up, basket good. We go back and forth. Good job by Gabe Simcoe, getting himself open underneath. Good pass from outside, and Simcoe lays, in it, lays it in for two. Clarion's been the only team so far to penetrate, kind of in the middle. Here's the ball up top. That's uh, Fricko with it to the right side to Benick. Fricko and Benick playing catch. Fricko driving into the lane, back out. Benick stops at the free throw line. The shot on the way, no good. And the rebound, but the push is going to be called here on Wagner. It'll be the third foul here against Red Bank Valley. Yeah, Braylon Wagner just a little bit too aggressive underneath. Karen Davis, our official, one of our officials on the evening, calls the foul on him. Red Bank takes a timeout, a 30-second timeout. Well, we have that 30-second timeout. Do you want to let folks know uh, timeout's brought to you by Gatesman Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning. When your heating, plumbing, or AC takes a timeout, call Gatesman Heating, Plumbing, and AC to get you back in the game. 782-3280. That's 782-3280. Pep Band kicking it back in here at uh, Clarion High School. It's been uh, fast up and down the court. 6-6, we're tied. Uh, they started out slowly, especially shooting, but they're starting to pick it up. But the speed is something they like to move. Yeah, it's been a tight game so far. I feel like this game will only open up as the as the game progresses. But I mean, I don't think it'll be. I don't think a team will run away with this one. I think it'll be a tight game until the end of it. But I think scoring will start to open up for both sides here. Well, here we go, six six. After the timeout, it's like Red Bank's changing over. Going to play a little bit of man to man defense. Lauer fakes shot. Lauer no good. The rebound pulled down by Carrier. Carrier's going to give that up to the guard, Fricko, and he'll bring it up across the timeline. 6-6, six, six, we're tied. Right side, baseline. Wagner kicks it up top. Long shot by Minnick. Three-pointers, no good. Tipped around. Simcoe lost it. Picked up Wagner. Shot good. 8-6. Wow. Simcoe did not, where that, did not know where that ball was for a second there, and as soon as he swatted at it, it went right into the ball, uh, the hands of the other team. 8-6 here, just about three minutes to go in the quarter. Driving Brinkley, kicks it back out to Lauer. Three on the way by Lauer. It's off the front of the rim. Simcoe rebound put back. It is no good. Rebound pulled down by Wagner. And just under three minutes now. On the left side, back up top. Fricko jump stop underneath. Wide open, and it's nice rejection by Simcoe, but he's going to get a little too much hand. And up to the line will go. Mace, or that's Owen Claus here to shoot a couple. There's such a thing of a good foul. I'd take that. I'd take that. that was borderline, but good effort there. Yep. Yeah, Gabe Simcoe over at the right place. Uh, just couldn't get enough ball on that that possession. Again, uh, free throws brought to you by Northern Pennsylvania Regional College. Want to thank them for that. Like shot good. By Klaus gets his two points here in the ball game. 10-6. Red Bank extends right now. This is the biggest lead of any team in the game. It's four. Simcoe shot on the right side. Simcoe nails that one. And it's 10 8. Red Bank working the ball here. Down, um, up by two. Big uh, game between these two and the tops of the Keystone Shortway Conference. Going to make for a very interesting Keystone Shortway Conference Championship Series. Clarion still trying to pack that 2-3 zone here. Red Bank being pretty patient, watching Coach Emmanuel Marshall for Red Bank on the bench. Tell him to wide it out, be patient, be patient, be patient. 
Coach Marshall's been there for a couple of years now. He's had some success. They're playing some chess right teams. now. They are trying to outweight the other team, both of them. Working the ball. Here's Fricko to the right side. Wagner shot on the way. Three pointer. No good. Rebound by Derek Smale. And here comes Clarion Brinkley across the timeline. Here's Brinkley driving between defenders. Basket good. And we're tied at 10. Huge points there for Clarion. Four in the ball game for Brinkley. A couple free throws of the field goal. Brinko left side. Minnick with his three pointer. And that's off the mark. Ball quickly comes down the court to Lauer. It's a foot race. Lauer puts it up and lays it home, and it's 12-10 Clarion. 6-0 run by Clarion to take the lead. Good job by Devin Lauer. Saw the turnover, anticipated a little bit. Got himself free on the Clarion side of the timeline. Lays it up for two. I believe that's his first score of the game. It sure is. Lauer's first, but a big one putting Clarion with the lead. They were down by four. 45 seconds to go here in quarter number one. Boy, glad you could be with us tonight here from Clarion High School. Got a great first quarter so far. Expect it to be this way the whole time tonight. Ball to the right side. Driving. Into the paint. Picked up by Minnick. Kicks it out. There's Wagner. Wagner driving in. Wagner back up top of the key. That's Klaus. Fricko. Down to the left side. Red Bank bench saying we're going to hold it for the last shot. Here's Fricko. Picks it out with nine seconds down to the corner. Fricko underneath. Klaus shot by Klaus. No good, but he's fouled. And that'll send Klaus to the line to get a couple here with 3.8 seconds. That might be I'm not quite sure if they called that one on Simcoe underneath. No, they're going to call it on Derek Smail, that foul. So that's going to be his first on the evening. Faust to a two from the free throw line tonight. Two points in the ball game. That shot is up and good as well. Bunch of reinforcements coming in for Clarion. Yeah, Looks smart like move. You don't want to have those your big guys picking up any fouls with 3.8 seconds left in the quarter. So good job by Coach Lewis recognizing the time on the clock in the situation to make that substitution. Second shot good, too. They're going to bring somebody else in. They're going to bring two other guys clear off that. Uh, those starters, basically, number 24, Nate Frederick's going to come into the basketball game along with number 33, Dante Gervin, to finish off this quarter, Mike. Yeah, Cribble in there as well, and that ball comes in, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. 12-12, we're tied. We'll take a timeout back with second quarter action. It is a Laurel High Clinic Hoops right here on the EYT Media Network. The division of M&B Group is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete as well as concrete supplies along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Dubois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. Right back here at Clarion Area High School. Glad to be with us tonight here for this one. Red Bank Valley in Clarion Area. Score is tied at 12 apiece after one. And we go to the second quarter, and it is the Bauer Wagner property second quarter here on EYT. Red Bank with the uh, basketball. They led by four as many, but Clarion a 6 0 run to give them a two point lead. Red Bank tying it on the free throws to end the half. Or the quarter, I should say, not the half. If I mess up too, you can always correct me because Bob did that for years. I, I mess up. Ball comes up top. There's Minnick. Clary is still running with the uh, line change that they had made. See how that works here. Ball over. Back up top to Minnick to the left side. Frico back to the left corner. Wagner. And now Klaus controls. Mason Klaus on the bench with a couple fouls 
for him. Ball stolen. With that basketball's Miller. Miller on the other side to Cribble shot. Good. Good transition by Clary and makes it 14 12. Good Talk pass about. by Miller. Saw Cribble open and dished it off to him. So pretty fundamental, fundamental play, but Cribble. Lays it off the backboard and in. Talk about creating a play, too. They're sticking to this defense and not letting anyone get through, basically. And defense leads to offense there. Drive on the baseline to the inside to Klaus. And a big move to the board by Klaus to tie things up at 14. Owen oh, Klaus now six in the ball game. Yeah, the senior just using his good body weight inside and everything. Got some opportunities. Gervin fires the shot. It's no good. Comes down out of bounds. And it goes to Red Bank Valley. I'm going to say it went off that time of Frederick. Clarion's going to come back with her five starters. And uh, those uh, guys substitute did a nice job for Clarion. Yeah, gave him a couple, a couple minutes of good basketball. Picked up a few points. It's a luxury to have that these days, Mike. Without a doubt. Having Mid two line changes come in, a line change come in like that. Eat up some minutes. Right side, Carrier. Cross-court pass, Fricko to Minnick, but it's stolen by Brinkley, and now it's a foot race to the other end. Brinkley with the layup, good, and it's 16-14, Clarion. Brinkley with six in this one himself. Defense to offense yet again. See, these teams, they do like to move, although Red Bank has really slowed it down. Usually you see them, they like to run a lot more. I think they're just happy to keep this uh, close. Fricko. Driving in, hands it off to Wagner. Wagner jumps up, lost the ball, and Simcoe's there. Here comes Brinkley. Brinkley ahead to Smale. Smale, big man on that bottom block, puts up the shot. No good, the ball tipped. Simcoe put back, that is good. Simcoe with six now. Larry in the area now with their biggest lead of the game, and it is four. Good rebound underneath by the Bobcats that time. Draco, right side. He's going to get that to Minnick. Back out to Minnick. Fricko, three-pointer on the way. The three is good by Fricko. That's his second. And they needed that to stay and not only stay in the game on the scoreboard, but momentum-wise. Clarion was starting to take a, take a hold of this game there. One-point ball game now, 4.50 to go in the Bauer-Wagner Bauer -Wagner property second quarter. Ball over to Brinkley. Into uh, Smale, back out Brinkley. Dawson Smale, top of the key. Finds Derrick. Derrick's going to fire the tray on the way. It's off the back of the rim, no good. That ball tipped out. There's Klaus. Klaus can move. Here's Klaus down the right side. Klaus going strong. Klaus is going to be fouled, and Klaus will go up to the line here to shoot. Yeah, not the greatest couple decisions there by Smale, if I do say so myself. Taking the three and then taking a the foul. So here we go as Klaus shaking it off a little bit. He's going to get up to the line. Six in the ball game for him. A couple fouls right now on uh, Dawson or Derek Smale. Wow, Klaus on the night. Perfect from the free throw line. Probably shouldn't have said that. No, you got him. You got him jinxed. Good shot, see? Yep. And that's what happens. Now we're tied at 18. Ball to the paint to Gervin. Gervin puts up a strong shot. That's good by Gervin. Nice hard working too there. First two of the ball game for him makes it 20 to 18. Fricko, Wagner, they play catch up top. Fricko, back over to Wagner. Just under four minutes to go here in the first half. We were tied at 12 after one. Long shot taken by Klaus. It's off the mark and a nice rebound by Simcoe. Here's Miller back up top Simcoe. Or excuse me, Smale, three-pointer on the way. No good, rebound by Simcoe. Back to Lauer. Lauer quickly picked up there by Fricko. Lauer comes around the defense, scoop shot good. Just Good job by Levin Lauer coming across using that left hand. Put it off the glass. Pick it up. He read the defender well there. You saw his, see his eyes were right next to him here. Here he goes again. Lauer Great down pass. to Miller. Miller and the shot's no good. 
Rebound is by uh, Carrier. Ah, Tanner Miller had wide open lane inside. Just missed the little bunny as we talked about and uh, turns it over to Redback. Here's Fricko up top. He's going to back off, reset the offense. Thorian remains in a 2-3 zone. Redbank just comfortable being patient here. Here's Klaus. Fricko. Hide it. Now drives. Kicks it right side. Long shot on the way. It's short of the mark. That time by um, Carrier. And here comes Clarion. Pass. Wow, quickly down the court to Lauer. Slipping is the defender. The shot by Lauer. No good. The rebound pulled down. Is by Klaus. That's Mason Klaus. Back in the ball game with the two fouls. Carrier driving. Lane dumps it off, and he's going to be fouled. And there's no shot. He was passing the ball when he was fouled, so it's going to go out of bounds here. Cameron Davis, the official, right on top of that one. Man, it would have been electric in here if Lauer would have hit that three. He had a defender sliding there uh, just quick off the rush, but just hit the rim. Going to give that foul to Tanner Miller, and I'll tell you what, uh, Simcoe coming out of the game. Gabe Simcoe is doing a heck of a job right now, both offensively and defensively on the boards for Clarion. Uh, Mike, the other thing is we get an opportunity that, boy, Dante Garvin is really, really seeing a lot more playing time, more than he did two weeks ago against Carn City and doing a, a great job uh, spelling a couple of the players on, on the court but uh, creating some opportunities for the Bobcats. Ball was tipped out of bounds by Clarion. Fricko's going to lose it. They're going to say it went off of the foot that time of uh, Dawson Smale. Fricko to take it out of bounds. 2.15 to go here in the first half. Ball comes in deep. That is to Minnick. Left corner, Fricko. Here's Minnick. Finds Carrier. Shot taken on the way by Fricko. It's way off the mark that time, and here comes Brinkley. I haven't been counting, but that's, what, three or four missed threes in a row for Red Bank. Lauer! Flat-footed three-pointer on the right side nails it. Well, if you're Red Bank, you don't want him. You don't want number two to get hot. In the paint, Klaus takes it strong to the hole. Mason Klaus, first points of the game. Good transition by Mason Klaus coming back. The senior doing a great job. Here's Brinkley. Up top, hands out to uh, Smale. Gervin to Smale, stolen away by Wagner. Now Wagner racing down the left side into the middle of the lane, puts it up strong, and the block foul is going to be called. Wagner will go to the line to shoot a couple. Brinkley almost was able to get set, just not quite. Yeah, you see that more in a college game, Mike, where, where guys are, are, are taking charges uh, more. You, I, I, that's one thing to start in the basketball season with the high school kids. Not too many kids stepping in and taking the charge these days in high school basketball. Uh, if I ever decide to go back and coach, that's one of the things we're going to teach an awful lot and coach that. Well, there's that. that. You, you've got to be able to take a charge. Like shot good, too. The other one, too, that drives me insane is these big guys turning around and not boxing out. Yeah, drives absolutely. me nuts. Mm -hmm. Three-point ball game. Minute to go here in this uh, first half. So here we go, one minute. And they might try to hold it for one shot here. But I'll tell you, it's one thing about Clarion's lineup here in the first half, Mike, is Dawson Smell, uh, along with Gervin, along with Derek Smell. That's a more physical lineup for the Bobcats. And this time, Derek Smale is going to get rung up for the foul. I believe that might be his third. And we'll see Simcoe come back into the ball game here. Take a look up on the board. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's going to be Derek Smale's third personal foul on the evening. And that's so, big, too. Yeah, that is. You got your big, your big guy inside. So, Coach Lewis, smart move trying to get him out of the game here. Not to pick up that fourth foul here in the first half. Red Bank is just a contend here to hold. Did a game years ago with Red Bank girls down at Zillianopo in the playoffs. And the opposing team held the ball for the entire first and second period. They got the ball. That was it. Wow. 
It was a long time ago. Ball were you top. on the Were you on the call for that? Yep. Ball driving you, to the hoop is Fricko. What did you talk about? <laughs> Good job by Karen uh, The weather. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Dunkel, he would remember. Here's the oh. runner, and in and out. No good by Lauer. Put back, though, by Miller. Our Pribble is no good. That last shot would have counted, though. He got it off in time, but one-point game. Headed at the half. Yeah, they had the right play call. They got the ball to Devin Lauer, and that's what you, you want to have, the guy that could shoot the basketball pretty well. Unfortunately, it falls short. And the Bobcats will go into halftime with a 25-24 lead. All right, so we'll take a timeout. We're going to come back. We have the First United National Bank uh, halftime show on the way. Again, Dave said it, one-point lead for Red Bank here at the half, and you're watching Laurel Line Clinic Hoops right here on the EYT Media Network. Hey Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave. You've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tianesta Builders. Tianesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tianesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tianestabuilders.us. I chose NPRC because it was great to have a local affordable option here in northwestern Pennsylvania. I live in this community and I wanted to stay in this community. Learn more at discovernprc.org. One of the biggest risks to your future could be running out of money during a longer than expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our Retirement Income Evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 223-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SIP. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. All right, back here at Clarion Area High School. We're in the First United National Bank, the Fun Bank Halftime Show. Mike Kalinowski, Owen Foss, Dave Cadis here talking with you. And if we go through the first half for the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs, they trail by one here at halftime. They are led by Fricko. A couple three-pointers and a deuce makes it eight points for him. Seven points for Owen Klaus. Uh, four points in the game for Wagner. Three for Carrier and a couple of points for Mason Klaus. Seven of eight from the free throw line was Red Bank Valley, though, in the first half. For Clarion Area, um... They were led, let me see here, by Lauer with seven. He came on late, got his points late, but really made a big difference. Six points for Brinkley, six for Simcoe, and a couple of points down the list for Cribble, Derek Smale, and Gervin. Two and two from the free throw line was Clarion in that first half. And again, our stats are brought to you by uh, Red Bank Chevrolet. And speaking of Red Bank Chevrolet, too, coming up this Thursday in the Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show from the Haskell House, our special guest is... Uh, a great friend and uh, someone who's been uh, here a long, long time, and that is uh, Greg Heath from over at Keystone. I know 
you'll be over there with uh, Dustin, and they're going to have a lot of questions for him. But when you talk about coaches in the area, well-regarded not only here but in the state, Greg Heath is that very first one that comes to mind. Yeah, he's put together quite a career over Keystone, and any time you get the floor named after you, you've got to be something special. I mean, I remember doing games over at the university and hosting and, and, and everything else, and uh, Keystone was always there. And you go back to the days of the poor boys and yeah. everybody else. Uh, yeah, i got a good buddy, Garrett Theron, who played on some of those championship teams too. Uh, Greg's just legendary. He's up there with the Aaron Straubs and everybody yeah. else in the D9 conference with everything. So, uh, yeah, it should be an interesting show. And, Owen, I think you're hosting that. And Greg, uh, yeah. is that correct? Greg yeah, is, I should be. I'll, I'm also going to be talking to Greg tomorrow uh, for the feature article I'll run with it. Um, yeah. Well, very good. So, Greg Heath coming up on Thursday. And Greg's a quiet guy. It's going to be interesting to see how you can pull he comes that through. If you can pull, because uh, Greg is one of those guys. He's very humble. He, he, he loves what he does, and he's not showy in any way. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see if you can uh, get him to come out of that shell a little bit on Thursday. Yeah. It would be a lot of fun. Uh, so we have that coming up on Thursday. So we're going to take another time out. We're going to come back out here after a couple-minute break, and we'll talk about the second half. What a first half, too, as uh, Clarion leads by one here at halftime, 25-24. We're in the Fun Bank Halftime Show. It's all part of uh, Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops, and it's all right here on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Welcome to 12 Series, a veteran-owned and operated company. Want to stand out amongst the crowd? This is the brand for you. They have apparel that ranges from cardio tanks and hoodies to sweat noggin covers. The apparel isn't just designed for the gym, it's designed for everyday life. Whether at work, the range, or at a family outing, 12 Series will turn heads. Find and like 12 Series on Facebook and Instagram. All right, back at uh, Clarion Area High School, we're in the first United National Bank, the Fun Bank halftime show. You know why it's a Fun Bank, Owen? The acronym. First well, that, United. and when you walk in, there's a big sound that goes off, and there's confetti. It's a fun Is place. It? Yeah, really. Actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. Owen's going to go try it tomorrow. That's how like, it didn't happen. Is that out in Seneca? <clears throat> Actually, there's one right there's here one, in town. There's another one in town. Interesting. Yeah, yeah it's so, right up the street, about yeah. 200 yards so up give, the street. Basically. So give it a shot. Just go in and say, Kalinowski said there's like confetti. And they'll look at you yeah. like, what? So anyway, we're going to continue here. Keys in the second half brought to the Auto Body. Um, what do you think, guys? What are these teams? 25-21. Uh, I think num number one, Clarion went with a bigger lineup like we talked about a little bit. Dante Garvin playing a little bit more than uh, than he has in the past here with everything. He comes back out on the floor here. Looks like he's going to start the second half. But, I mean, you got him and uh, Dawson Smale. And also Derek Smell underneath. But the big thing is da Dawson Smell doesn't look like he's going to come out for the second half. He's got three personal fouls, Mike. So they got to be very leery as far as what's going on with him. And 
Mason Klaus for Redback. They're really not in big foul trouble. Klaus has two on the evening, but um, you know they're banging around pretty good, and the officials are kind of they're keeping it tight, which they need to do. Well, there we go. We got to get the band in. That'll wrap up the fun bank halftime show. Third quarter sponsors: Penn State Dubois. Or in uh, Dave's world, Dubois, he prefers the French pronunciation. We continue here, a one-point lead for Clarion. Simcoe's going to work it up top. Right underneath, there's Gervin, and the shot good. Gervin with four now in the ball game. Boy, what a pass by Gabe Simcoe. Saw Gervin coming across the key and fired that ball inside. And good turnaround and post up by Gervin. Oh, trying to save it from going out of bounds was Carrier that time. So a big turnover here early on in this uh, third quarter. See if Clarion can take advantage here. So here come the Bobcats. They lead by three. Was six their um, don't was six their longest or biggest lead so far? I correct? believe. Yeah, I believe you're right. Well. Right underneath. Layup good by Mason Klaus. Klaus picking up his fourth point of the ball game. Good pass oh. by. Good pass by Brother Wagner that time. Oh, Coming Brinkley across. sliding a little bit. The court must be a little slippery. You saw a lot of folks moving around. A lot of the times you see him come sweep it off. I feel bad when I go to these games in the winter with my boots and I accidentally <laughs> step on the court. How about that drive by Lauer giving him nine? 29-26. Clarion remaining in the 2-3 zone. Fricko up top goes left to the right side. Carrier. Carrier has to hurry here. He's going to get that five-second count. Wagner controlling, top of the key, hands it off here. Fricko now resets the offense. Clarence stayed in that 2-3 zone all evening, and he continued to do that as we start the second half, basically. Up top to Fricko. Very patient, as we talked about it for Red Bank. Wagner firing the three, and how about that eight ball corner pocket on the left side? We're tied at 29. Very Braylon Wagner just got himself open on that right side, right in front of Coach Marshall. Told him to let it fly, hit it for three. Red right Bank ties it up. So, bam, just like that, we are tied again. Here's Brinkley with the drive, dumping it off, and the paint stolen away. Oh, Bryce needs to go to the hoop strong, take that shot. Carrier through the defense, and the That's charge an is going to be called on Carrier. Dante Gervin. Setting it up downstairs. Good time job out. by Gervin. I don't know who called it, but we got timeout. Yeah, timeout's going to be taken. I think Red Bank used the timeout here. Tied at 29. I think calm everybody down. Does uh, Coach Marshall will do that? Yeah, like I like I kind of predicted that I, this game's opening up, but it's still very tight in terms of the scoreboard. But opening up in the aspect that it's run and gun, both sides. Yeah, they're moving back and forth now. Again, Gatesman's heating, plumbing, and air conditioning. Give them a call, 72-3280. 72-3280, they are our timeout sponsor. Got to give that timeout to Clary and Coach Lewis. All right. Just a quick 30-second timeout. Bob top here to uh, Smale. Out of Gervin. Gervin up top finds Lauer. Derek Smell still on the bench for the Bobcats. Sitting on those three personal fouls. Brinkley on the left side. Comes back up top here to Simcoe. Smell double teamed up top. Right into Simcoe. Lost the ball. Picked it up. Shot. It is no good. Ball's going to be tipped back out to Brinkley. Nice job there. Right underneath. Gervin shot. Good. Gervin with six in the ball game. Great pass there by Dawson Smell. Well, Dante Gervin setting that up two on the rebound. Just getting it outside. Tipping it outside. And got it right back to him. Quick. And Gervin put it off the glass for his two points. Klaus up top. That's Owen Klaus. Wagner hands it back here to uh, Fricko. Two-point advantage for Clarion with about 4.40 to go here in the third. Ball handed off to uh, Carrier. Back to the corner. Fricko, three-pointer from the corner. No good. Rebound Brinkley. Brinkley Long all pass. the way down. Lauer, shot. No. It goes. Wow. Didn't think so, Mike. 
Hit that rim pretty hard, bounced up, thought it was going to fall out, but it falls in. So oh. good job by Devin Lauer getting himself free down court. That was Mason Klaus that swatted it at first and it just pinballed in. Wagner shot just inside the arch that time is good. Braylon Wagner started to heat up too for the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs. Two point ball game. Four minutes to go here in the third. Driving Smale puts up the shot. It's no good. Smale gets his own rebound. Bodies it up. Shot good by Smale. Those are Smale's first points of the ball game. Dawson Smale. And they're big ones too. It's a four point lead. And Suter's, uh Smale got the points. Derek Smell gets up off the bench. Fricko, bounce pass up top, finds Klaus back over to Fricko. I don't know if it's Clarion being, being more aggressive or if Red Bank is just a little bit more jittery on offense, but a little bit different look than we, we saw in the first half. Oh, good pass inside and a basket by Owen Klaus. Bad pass there. And here's the steal coming back. Here's Owen Klaus. Bryce Brinkley with the turnover. Shot taken from the left side, Carrier, three-pointer, good by Carrier. And it's 36-35, Red Bank Valley, Carrier is second three of the ball game. That all started just from an exiting the zone, a pass that just, you can't have. Just under three minutes now, here in the third. Ball to the corner to Brinkley. Now Gervin. Red Bank playing a little bit of a 3-2 zone. It looks like uh, going to pass everybody off to that basketball up front. Gervin on the right side. Smale driving around defenders. Shot. Good by Smale. Don't know how he got that to go. It's that left hand. Wow. By Smale. Great job. Oh, Brinkley almost came up with the big pick. And uh, Derek Smale is going to check in here. He's playing with the three fouls. He'll come in for Gervin. Gervin giving uh, Coach Lewis some quality minutes. As Brinkley taking a C2, getting the breather. Yeah, Tanner Miller coming up to take Brinkley's spot with 218 remaining in the third quarter. Carrier. Back out it goes. Fricko, Fricko. Up top to Klaus. Klaus driving, has it knocked away, and it's going to stay Red Bank basketball. Ryan Smith down there, what a nice job, the official. He was a student of mine, you know that. Was Clary really? Limestone, 100 years ago. Does a great job officiating. You get a chance to see Ryan an awful lot and Karen Davis and that other gentleman. Quite, not quite sure his name, but you see them all the time up at Tippett Gymnasium during the D9 playoffs and KSAC playoffs. Ball comes in here. Carrier to Klaus. Klaus fakes, now drop, backs off. Two minutes, two minutes to go here in the corner. A one-point lead for Clarion. Each team has scored 12 points so far in the quarter. Wagner, back up top it goes. Fricko fakes, drives. Fricko sends it over to Klaus. Klaus puts up that shot. He's going to be fouled, and I'll tell you what, if that's Derek Smale, that's number four. I think it, it is. It is. They're going to give him his fourth personal foul, so here comes... Immediately, Garvin off the bench for the Bobcats. And up to the line will be uh, Owen Klaus to shoot here. Klaus's well, first shot is good. And here comes Garvin. There goes Smale. Tough one picking up that fourth in the third period. Second shot's off the mark. We're tied at 37, a minute and a half to go here in the third. Penn State Dubois third quarter here on EYT. Lauer three-pointer on the way, and it's no good. Gervin's going to get called coming over the top. And yeah, Dante just trying to do a little bit too much that time. He's going to pick up his first foul on the evening. Couple other substitutions on Cribble coming back in the game, giving Devin Lauer a little, little breather with 126 remaining in the quarter. Smart move by Coach Lewis of the Bobcats. Give his starters a little bit of rest before the quarter ends. Fricko has his pocket picked. That's Mayo taking it away. 
Here's Dawson Smale driving to the hoop, dumps it off, Simcoe shot good. Great pass. Good pass by Dawson Smale. Saw Simcoe, very patient. Simcoe with a good job putting it off the back of the, of the glass. Bobcats take the lead, 39-37. Here's Wagner on the baseline. The foul's gonna be called on Simcoe. They're gonna take the ball out of bounds right below us here. Two-point lead for Clarion. Brinkley checks in, and he's going to also check in will be Mason Burford. It's going to be the second foul on Gabe Simcoe. He's going to take a bench, a seat on the bench. Small lineup underneath for the Bobcats right now. See if they try to pound it in. Shot taken on the way by Klaus. It's off the back of the rim. No good. Rebounds out. Goes off a of Clarion. What hustle that time by Mason Klaus to kind of mess Miller up when he went over to get that ball. 42 seconds. Bricko. Owen Klaus. Bricko with it. Underneath. Wagner. Shot by Wagner. No good. Ball tipped around. Who's going to get it? Wagner gets it. Brings it back up top. It's tipped. Miller takes it. Miller, left side. Cribble, cribble. Bounce pass in the paint. Taken away by Klaus. The ball's loose in the paint. Cribble's got to want that shot. Driving. Oh. Shot. No good. No call. Ball tipped out of bounds. And it is Red Bank basketball. A lot of banging inside. The officials choosing not to call. Yeah, Dante right. Gergen was set up to take that charge that time, and the official, I think, just missed it. What's that one song? Let the bodies hit the floor. We got a lot of physicality in this game. And I like it, too. I love it when they let the guys play just a little bit, and you see it here. Ball handed off. Here's Wagner with five, four, down to three, down to two. Shot taken. Carrier shot good from the three-pointer. 40-39. Red Bank leads it as we go to quarter number four. That is a huge momentum burst there for Red Bank. Good play by the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs. Saw Ty Carrier in the corner, puts it up for three. They take the lead 40 to 39. All right, let's take a very quick timeout. It's Laurel Athletic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. So much to protect each day. Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. Back at Red, back at Clarion High School. I'll just take us well, right in there. Well, I wasn't paying attention. You got Tyler back there. We don't have mic'd yeah. up tonight. Back at Clarion yeah, High School. It's the Bulldogs <laughs> and the Bobcats. Let me turn it over to Mike Kalinowski hey. to bring you through to the end of the game. Thank you, Mr. Cadis. Stu Brooks, our fourth quarter sponsor, Red Bank, with the basketball as we start. One point lead for the Bulldogs. As close as it gets here. So here this game we. was going to be tight. It's going to be right down to the wire, so you want to hang on, folks. It's a good one. Really setting things up, too, for that February 9th meeting. Ball into the paints. Klaus takes it strong. Mason Klaus, basket doesn't go, but he's going to be fouled. And Mason Klaus to the line. We'll Mike, see who got caught inside. I'm just surprised that they haven't. Redback hasn't done that more. Klaus is a heck of an athlete, and they have, they've not tried to work that ball inside to him as much as I really thought they would do tonight. I like Derek Smell's uh, expression after that call. He's looking around. I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. <laughs> Doesn't want to be out of this game. <laughs> going to call that, that foul on Devin Lauer. That's going to be his first. Northern Pennsylvania Regional College is our free throw sponsor. Next shot on the way, and that's good. Red Bank has been good from the free throw line tonight. Big reason why they're still in this ball game. And Mike Coach Lewis isn't going to take any chances. He put Derek Smell back in. He's got those four fouls. Up top, Smell into Smell. Right side, Simcoe into Derek Smell. Big shot, good by Derek Smell. That's four for him. 
Good pass by Simcoe, seeing big number 14 inside. Took a step to the right, laid it off the glass for two. Klaus over to Wagner. Wagner puts it up, rejected by Simcoe, out of bounds. It'll be Red Bank's ball, but that's a huge play there by Gibson. It's been great all night. Ball comes in deep to Fricko. One point lead for Red Bank Valley. Underneath the Wagner boy had to save that from going out of bounds. Right underneath the Klaus. Back up top, it's tipped and Smale takes it. Foot race, Smale's gonna bring it around. Smale very wisely there. He had three Bulldogs in front of him. Derek Smale back out to Brinkley. Brinkley right side. That's Dawson. Now Lauer. Dawson Smale on the right side, 6.20, clock continues to move. Flower from the left side. Brinkley, back over to uh, Dawson Smale, driving down to the bottom block. Smale kicks it up top, Derek left side, Brinkley left corner, Lauer underneath Simcoe. And they keep moving it here, great ball movement here by Clarion. No rush, they're only down by one. Here's Derek's mail shot. That's no good. Simcoe went up big oh. for it, but lost it out of bounds. Oh, Simcoe almost had a great rebound there. Great effort there, but he just lost it at the last moment. He's got to be careful. He went over up, up over the back of Kieran Frico at that time. Smell almost, or Simco, or, uh, Simcoe almost had the basketball, but it falls out of bounds. Here we go the other way. Frico left side. Klaus, it's Owen. Frico's going to back off. Clarion sits back here in that 2-3 zone now. They have been man-to-man. -man. Ball up top. Carrier back to Frico. Carrier into the paint. Up top, Owen Klaus. Three on the way. That's a three-pointer good. Had to wait for the official. 45-41. Now Red Bank with that four-point lead with 5-10 to go. Brinkley. Smale underneath the Simcoe. Ball tipped, and it's going to be taken away by Red Bank. Carrier gets it out here to Owen Klaus. Here's Fricko. And we're going to get a timeout taken. It's going to be a full timeout, so we'll take a break here. 45 41. 4 49 to go here in quarter number four. It's a Dubrook fourth quarter. With Red Bank leading, and you're watching us live on the EYT Media Network. Hi, my name is Jason, and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. college is seen as and how college works is changing. Students are concerned with debt. Through scholarships and grants, I didn't pay anything last year. They even paid for my books. You, you, can't, you can't beat it. Like, why, why would I say no to that? And back here at Clarion High School, 45-41 is our score. As uh, Red Bank leads Clarion here. Mike Kalinowski, Owen Kreps, Dave Cadis, got Tyler Oaks and uh, Brad English over there on the camera. Whole crew here tonight. Ball's coming in, got a hurry here and they're gonna get across court to Wagner. Wagner jumps up, puts up that shot, banks it home, good, 47-41. I believe that's the largest lead of the night for Red Bank. I would have to agree with you on that one. Yeah, Coach Lewis gotta watch himself. He, wasn't gonna, he doesn't wanna get into a track meet here too much. Red Bank Valley pulling away by Six. Here's big, Lauer. Big possession for the Bobcats. Mm. Lauer shot. Good by Lauer. They're going to call the foul. Lauer up to the line for the old time three point play. Boy, Lauer, that was a very delayed. He, didn't, yeah. he allowed those two steps. He really didn't walk. And then gets fouled. Carrier picks up that foul. That's his second on the evening. Boy, Lauer's free throw doesn't go. It careens back out and into the hands of Fricko. Simcoe got a tip. Thought maybe he'd come down with it, but here we go the other way. Here's Fricko to the left side. 
With control into Klaus. The ball's tipped. Klaus gets it. Push is going to be called. Are they going to call that on Dawson Smale? Yes, they are. They're going to call it on Dawson Smale. Red Bank will maintain possession. That's a third personal foul on Dawson Smale. Four minutes to go here in this Dubrook fourth quarter. Clarion bringing that zone out a little bit, pressuring up top. Ball to the corner to Wagner. Up top to Fricko. Fricko has his pocket picked by Dawson Smell ahead to Lauer and the two point. And I think Lauer may have just got it over top. Not sure if that was a big jam or not, but we'll give it to Lauer. Job by Devin close. Lauer. Pretty good pass by Simcoe on the play. Close enough. When I see his dad, I'll say, he needs to eat some more Wheaties. Yeah. I want to see that bank board move a little bit. Foul's going to be called here. I think they're going to get Simcoe. 47-45, two-point lead for Red Bay. She may have gotten Dawson Smale on that. Uh, it is, Mike. It's Dawson Smale. He's right. going to pick up his fourth. So, Bobcats, two guys yeah. now underneath. Both of them named Smale. The brothers, both with four fouls. Now they're trying to keep up with each other, right? Ball into Klaus. Back up top it goes here to Fricko. Carrier with the basketball. Mason Klaus, Carrier now, uh, Minnick back in the ball game. Minnick finds Klaus, Klaus driving in, foul shot goes, and, Minnick, and that'll be uh, Klaus going to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Well, let's see who they're going to call that on. I think if they call that on Derek Smale, that is going to be his that fifth is. personal foul, and That's it is. It. So he's going to retire to the bench, and Dante Garvin immediately comes up. And you watch, too. That's one thing that uh, Coach Marshall's probably going to try to do. They're going to go right after uh, Dawson Smale, too, here if they can with the get, four. Yeah, pretty good yeah. Uh, Pretty good strategy to try to get those guys out of the game. Still three, well, three minutes remaining. So 50-45 the score here. Red Bank leading Clarion. Clarion now working the ball. Good tip here, but the ball's going to be pushed out of bounds by Klaus. 2.53 to go. Ball remains Clarion's ball. You know something we haven't had yet tonight? We haven't had a held ball. Just thought about that. Yeah. Haven't got to go to that Land Pro possession arrow. It's kind of unusual. I don't know why I just thought of that. Well, you got the sponsorship in, so that's even better. That's right. Here's Lauer driving. Lauer, fade away. Right side, no good. Ball tipped into the hands of uh, Owen Klaus. Making something out of nothing, though, there for, for Lauer. The fact he was able to get a shot off there was very impressive. Klaus brothers really starting to turn it on here towards the end of the game. Wagner's going to be fouled by Gervin, and now up to the line goes Wagner. That foul by Gervin, that'll be, I believe, his second. Wagner up to the line. Clarion now at the five, so that means that every time uh, Red Bank is fouled, they'll be at the line for two. Wagner's shot is good. Dangerous territory here for the Bobcats. Couple changes for the Bobcats. Mason Burford comes into the game, number 23, along with uh, Tanner Miller, checks back in for the Bobcats. And Judge Bank's going to take a timeout. Full timeout, Mike. It is. We'll take one, two, 221 to go here in the ballgame. 52 45 Red Bank Valley. You're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. Located at 511 Main Street in Shippenville, All-American Awards and Engraving is expanding to provide even better customer service with that personal small-town feel. From embroidery to engraving to screen printing to personalized gifts, All-American Awards and Engraving is ready to help you make your organization, business, school team, or event stand out with All-American Awards and Engraving's quality promotional products. Visit their showroom for apparel, trophy, and awards ideas at 511 Main Street or visit their website at allamericanhq.com. Back here at Clarion High School, 
221 to go here in the ballgame, 52-45. Been a fun one here tonight. Yeah, it's good. We're finally getting up to see what Redbacks all about Mike tonight. We're going to see him an off. They're going to see him an awful lot in January and February here. So, pretty impressive team Coach Marshall has put together. Burford drives, kicks it back up top. Shot on the way by Miller, no good. Rebound kicked out. Lauer three pointer on the way. That's no good. They Rebound by Klaus, and the foul is going. To, they're going to call. There we go. We got the jump ball. Land Pro possession arrow is going to point into the direction of Clarion. Tanner Miller sticking his nose in there a little bit. Pretty good job by that young man to tie up that basketball. Foul from behind. They're going to get Wagner here. There won't be a shot, but they'll take the ball out of bounds. Just the second foul here against Red Bank. Wagner's going to pick up his second on the night. Red Bank in pretty good position foul-wise as we hit the two-minute mark. Miller driving in. Shot is good by Miller. Bobcats really needed that one. Miller Stolen steals. away. Block. What a block. Here comes Red Bank now. There's Wagner on the other end. Wagner coming strong. Shot good. That was Frisco that set that whole play up with that huge block. Minute 37. Here's Miller. Kicks it out. Seven-point lead. Red Bank. Lauer three-pointer, and that's off the mark, and the rebound pulled down by Wagner. I don't know the exact numbers, but I think Lauer has been, I don't know, I would say one for four-ish on threes tonight. Yeah, I he's had a tough time. Just haven't been able to get in that flow. Those last two go in, we have a completely different game. Yeah, I'm right. looking. They're making some the changes. The starters are coming back in the basketball game. Mike with a minute 20. I don't know, that, that possession, I thought, you know, the Coach Lewis was going to put them in a little bit earlier, but he waited to the minute 20 mark to put his starters back in. Yeah, Gervin in there for uh, Simcoe, or for Smale, excuse me. Minute 10, foul's going to be called up top. I think they're going to get Brinkley and up to the line. It's going to go Fricko to shoot two here. Yeah, with Red Bank being in the bonus now, every time you're fouled, you know, they're going to put that basketball up. They're going, to put that, they're going to charge that foul on Gabe Simcoe. That's his third personal foul on the night. Still not crazy about this five foul thing. I like it the old way you had those get to the one and ones. That shot no good as well. Seven point lead. Clarion's going to have to move. Here's Brinkley. Well, if you're red back, they're going to be looking for Lauer for that three point shot, no doubt. It's a three possession game. Here's Gervin. To the left side. Smale between defenders has it knocked away and it stays Clarion ball. It'll be last touch. Either Fricko or uh, Klaus getting her hands on Fricko it. Fricko was pleading his case there, though. <laughs> Always got to try and sway the ref's opinion one way or another. Bulldogs have their eye on number two, Devin Lauer. Following him a little bit now. Cheating a little bit to that right side. Burford and Frederick will check in here for Clarion. 52 seconds. Ball comes into Burford. Burford driving, kicks it up top. Smale shot on the way. That's no good. The rebound's going to be pulled down by Owen Klaus. Red Bank with it. Here's Mason Klaus. Bounce pass over. Carrier shot. Good. That's a dagger right there. 30 seconds. Long shot taken by Smales off the back of the rim. Rebound by Mason Klaus. All the way down the court to Wagner. Wagner's going to put it up. Doesn't go. Not well. Wagner slips. Frankly, helping Wagner get right back up there. Shot taken on the other end. It's good by Lauer with 10 seconds. Ball comes in. 6-5. And that's the ball game. 56-49. Red Bank Valley's going to win it. Huge win for Red Bank, who for the first two quarters were kind of trailing in this game, essentially, and come back with a solid win. Yep, they were tied in the end of the first, a point uh, deficit in the uh, half, and you're right, they come back to win this one. And we're going to take a timeout. i got to total things up. We're going to come back. We'll have the Clarion County Community Bank postgame show on the way. And you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic. Uh, is Laurel Eye Clinic hoops. It's all right here on Explore Clarion at D9sports.com.
throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Our focus has always been on you at Clarion County Community Bank. So let's talk about your needs of today and your plans for tomorrow. Let's talk if you're looking to update your home, expand your business, finance equipment, or establish a line of credit. Let's talk about making your dreams a reality at any one of our four locations in Clarion, New Bethlehem, Rymersburg, and Franklin. Clarion County Community Bank. There is a difference. Zockrell Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zockrell Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockrell Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockrellMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockrell Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion. And welcome back here to uh, Clarion Area High School. Our final score again, 56-49, as Red Bank Valley knocks off Clarion Area tonight here in this uh, Laurel Lock Clinic Hoop basketball game. We're in the Clarion County Community Bank postgame show. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, what a ball game tonight. Tied at the end of one, one-point lead for Clarion at the half. Red Bank led by one in the third, and then they come away here with a seven-point win. So it was seesaw all the way back and forth. You were you were like uh, all over the place, Mr. Kittis. You were all excited. And <laughs> yeah, this is something I was looking forward to all day. I mean, we've heard about Red Bank. We haven't got a chance to see them. We finally saw what all the hype was all about and everything. Got an undefeated KSAC team here. Putting together a pretty good performance of the Klaus brothers. Oh, my gosh. Picking it up from football and bringing yep. it right here to basketball. And so is Braylon Wagner, too, with everything. And you've got some final statistics and some points, Mike. Sure do. And the final stats, again, brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. Don't forget the Red Bank Chevy Main Street Sports Show coming up on Thursday from the Haskell House. Uh, for Clarion Area, as they drop this one tonight, uh, leading um, all scorers in the game, it was Lauer with 17, um, then followed – here by eight points for Simcoe, six for Brinkley, six for Gervin. Gervin having a strong game off the bench uh, for uh, Clarion. Yeah, he did. He he did really well. Dante coming off the bench like that, and uh, he showed his uh, his uh, basketball skills and his force tonight. Some good rebounds and making some shots. Uh, we said six uh, for Brinkley, two, uh, four for Dawson, four for Derek Smale. And a couple of points for Miller coming off the bench, too. Two or three from the free throw line. That was Clarion area tonight. They only got there a couple of times for Red Bank. They got there a lot, and they certainly made it count. Uh, Wagner led the Bulldogs with 15 points in the ball game, 11 points out of Carrier, or 13 out of uh, Owen Klaus, uh, nine points for Mason Klaus, eight for Fricko. And from the line, 13 to 17 was Red Bank Valley. Certainly a big reason why they were able to come away with this win here tonight. Yeah, I think one of the problems for the Bobcats, without a doubt, and everything that, uh, you know, Derek Smale got himself in some foul trouble early and, you know, sat out a lot of the, the end of the second quarter and a good part of the third quarter before Coach Lewis decided to put him back in the basketball game. Then all of a sudden, with Derek Smale with all Derek Smell with all those files, Dawson Smell's brother had four, so he had to be kind of careful what went on underneath the hoop too. So, um, big factor in the basketball game. But Red Bank played an outstanding game, put up 56 points, and uh, they go away with a victory tonight. 
All right, again, uh, those stats brought to you by Red Bank Chevy. In time now for the Hager Paving Player of the Ball Game. It was uh, you, Owen, and I tonight. We were all thumb wrestling. It was the three guys thumb wrestling, and I got pushed out, and you got pushed out, and Owen, I think he decided on uh, Owen Klaus tonight as the uh, player of the game for uh, Red Bank Valley. I think Owen had a strong game, had 13 points, didn't lead in scoring, uh, but was certainly a big uh, factor in this ball game tonight. Yeah, big force on rebounding uh, offensively and defensively for the Bulldogs, and they come away with a big victory. All right, so that's going to do it for us this evening. That'll wrap up the Clarion County Community Bank postgame show. And, uh, boy, it was a nice one tonight. Do want to, uh, you know, thank you, Dave and Owen, able to hop on with us tonight. Kind of nice to get his perspective, too, of course, coming from um, outside of the conference. So uh, he was pretty impressed, I think, with both of these teams this evening. Yeah, once again, a reminder, Thursday night, Greg Heath, former Keystone coach, going to be interviewed at the Haskell Haas, so That's stay right. tuned for that. All right, so that'll wrap things up for us this evening. And, again, uh, do want to thank uh, everybody here tonight, Owen uh, uh, Kreps. We had uh, Dave Cadis. i got to think of everybody. Tyler. Tyler, Tyler Oaks. We had Brad English and myself, Mike Kalinowski, bidding you a pleasant good night from Clarion High School. 56-49 Red Bank is a winner. Don't forget that sports show coming up on Thursday. Hey, folks, have a great night. We'll see you again coming up on Thursday here on EYT. Have a great day.